What's going on guys, Dom Marino here, and today I got something a little bit different for you. So recently, um, I've been playing Call of Duty and streaming, and I've been having this problem with my uh, GPU where it would spike up and down. So it would stay up around 90, then drop to 40, then come back up to 80, and I was looking on the internet, and it was hard for me to find like a definitive video that kind of went through all the issues and all the troubleshooting. And I wanted to make that video, you know, based on everything that I tried and what worked for me. So I'll kind of go in order of the things that I think that you should try and what order you should try them in. Um, so let's just jump into that. So the first one is going to be the graphics uh, drivers. Um, that's definitely going to be the first thing you want to check. That's going to cause a lot of problems in your computer and your GPU if it's not fully updated. So you just come in to GeForce Experience or for AMD, whatever they have, and you'll just hit check for updates just to make sure you're all updated. And you'll get this little notification down here that you are. So if you got that, you're all good to go with your graphics cards. So the next few things are going to be all power related. The next three things are going to be kind of making sure that your computer is not throttling back the power that it's giving to your graphics card, making sure that it's always on high performance. So the first one is going to be coming down into your power settings. So you're just going to type in power down here and you're going to power and sleep. And then you're going to come over here to your additional power settings. So most likely, if you've never gone in here and messed with it, it's either going to be on power saving mode or it's going to be clicked on balance. So you're going to click on high performance and that's going to be the one you're going to want to leave it at. So the next one, you're going to want to come down here and type in graphic settings. It's going to pop up here. And for this one, you're going to want to look up whatever program that you want the high graphics to work for. So for me, obviously, I was playing Call of Duty. Um, with my Elgato capture, I want it to be on high and Streamlabs because that's what I use for streaming. So you're going to browse. So let's say that for Call of Duty, I wanted to set it to high settings. Or actually, let's do something I haven't done before. So let's say for Audacity. Um, so I come, click on Audacity, click on the program, and I have these options now for system default, power saving, and high performance. Now for whatever game you're wanting to get the best performance out of, you're going to click on high performance there and you're going to hit save and that'll be that. So the next one is going to be the NVIDIA control panel and the easiest way to get into the NVIDIA control panel is to right click on the desktop and it should pop up there. Click on NVIDIA control panel. So it should bring up right here and you're going to come over to 3D settings and hit manage 3D settings and you're going to scroll down and you're going to find power management mode. You're going to double click there. It's going to bring down this drop down menu and you're going to come down to maximum performance prefer maximum performance so those are going to be the three um, power settings that you're going to want to change make sure that it's getting all the power it needs make sure that your computer is not saying hey we want to be eco-friendly and save as much power as possible you want all the power and that's going to help out with the performance it's going to make sure that nothing is going up or nothing is dipping in performance so the next two things deal with the game. The first is going to be V-Sync. Now that's going to be something that may or may not be in the game you're playing. In Call of Duty it is in the game. So you're going to want to test V-Sync on and V-Sync off and see which one works better for you performance wise. The second one is going to be uninstalling and reinstalling the game. Now what I suggest doing is going into a different game and seeing if you have the same problems you're having with whatever game you're trying to fix. And if you're not, then I would go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game because sometimes with computer programs it doesn't work perfectly so sometimes that needs to be done. So the next thing I would try out is your HPET. Um, there's been a lot of issues with GPUs and HPET being enabled where the compatibility and for some reason they don't like each other and it causes them to you know, have that issue where you're spiking up and down and not getting full performance out of your graphics card. So within your BIOS when you're turning on your computer and booting up you're going to want to boot into the BIOS and you want to look for HPET and you want to try to disable that and see if that corrects any issues that you're having. Now the final and last option if everything else has failed and you're kind of at the end of the road and you need something else um, is uninstall and reinstall Windows. Um, this sometimes corrects a lot of issues and, but of course, it's the last thing you're going to want to do because one, it's time consuming and two, you're going to lose a lot of your, you know, configured settings that you're going to have to go back in and make the corrections on. So if you do this, you're going to have to go back and make all the previous corrections and it could be a, it could be a headache to do this. So this is definitely the last thing that I would do 
Um, two like miscellaneous things you can try or one if you're already planning on upgrading your graphics card just go ahead and upgrade it and hope that that upgrade solves the problem um, the second thing is sometimes the graphics card and the motherboard don't have a good connection so you're going to make sure everything is tied in there make sure everything is connected well make sure all your power cables are routed right nothing is frayed everything just looks good inside your computer that's something just to check anyways so beyond trying to fix this problem i would definitely have the three power settings and the graphics card updated um those are the three things or four things i would do automatically no matter what whether you're having problems or not you'll just get better performance and make sure that nothing weird is happening within the power and you know going to your gpu so i appreciate you guys watching the channel i appreciate you guys checking the video out i really hope some of these things help you out with the problem you're having i know for me what helped me was uninstalling reinstalling call of duty it cleared up my problem right away um so i do a lot of reviews on this channel tech guides like this just different things I also talk about new tech that's coming out i appreciate it if you guys went down there comment tell me what helped you tell me if you have a different solution to some of these things i want to hear what you guys have and um go subscribe on the video until i got something else for you guys thanks for watching <laughs>